Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. As is usual at this time of year, I have forgone the usual daily charts and instead I have concentrated on giving a longer term view using weekly, monthly, even yearly charts, but rarely using daily charts. Now, if you'd like to discuss any of these charts, I'd only be too happy to take your call. So without any further delay, let me introduce today's longer term chart. Today, I'll be looking long term at LME three month aluminium. The low in the first third of 2020 has become hugely significant. It was where the market breached but did not break the lower time currently 1571 of the mildly bullish 2009-2015 shift pitchfork. It was where the market almost but not quite managed to reach the 2015 low at 1432 and is where the market formed a bullish engulfing pattern part of a pipe bottom that started a move higher that led to an annual key reversal up in 2020 and ultimately to the high of 2021, which challenged, if only briefly, the 2008 high at 33.80, and in the process completed a huge double bottom. Prices started 2021 hesitating, just under the 38.2% Fibonacci line of the important 2008-2009 move, but this did not last long, as by February prices had punched up through this, and in April, punched up and closed clear over the middle tine of the mildly bullish 2009-2015 shift pitchfork, currently at 23.05. Also, the big 50% Fibonacci on the 2008-2009 move at 23.30 and the upper tine, currently at 22.39, of what had been in 2018 to, 20, to 2020, the important bearish Andrews pitchfork, but which will now be retired after this commentary, having been thoroughly broken. This set the stage for an attempt at the 2018 high at 27.18 and then the 2011 high at 28.03. Both were achieved. With an explosive follow through in October that ended the month with an, as, as an outside month and bearish double. This caused November's pullback though interesting only as far as the lesser Fibonacci lines at 25.78 and 25.43 before a rejuvenated bullish engulfing pattern last month. So far in early January we've had a follow through higher approaching the breached but unbroken upper time currently at 30.45 of the mildly bullish 2009-2015 shift pitchfork. In the process of moving higher in 2021 the market created no less than five, yes, five golden crosses. Deep breath. These are the one year moving average currently at 25.89 up over the two year moving average currently 21.70. The one year moving average up over the three year moving average currently 20.45. The one year moving average up over the five year moving average currently 20.47. The two year moving average up over the three year moving average and finally the two year moving average up over the five year moving average. Now, I know, I know all these golden crosses are lagging indicators, but the sheer number of them within one year is staggering. Just to give full disclosure, this month, January 2022, we seem close to making another golden cross of the three-year moving average, possibly up over the five-year moving average. This now brings me to my final point that I had also previously highlighted last year. To recap, this is what I said last year, and I quote, Looking at the recent action in 2020, as well as the drop down to the low of 2015, there is the possibility of a huge double bottom pattern developing. It is nascent, as yet, less developed than the one in copper, for example, but it's still a possibility, even a strong one. It will depend if prices can move up and reach the April 2018 high at 27.18 or not. It is a big ask, but watch out for this as it will be a multi-month and probably a multi-year pattern." End of quote. 
Well, it certainly is a multi-mark pattern, and with 2021's move higher, still not complete. But it is also a multi-year pattern now. And so I've placed the target X for this double bottom pattern in the 3644 area, which is rather inconveniently up off the top of my long-term chart. However, this target X used the top of the very long and failed monthly key reversal up made back in April 2018. Therefore, I have also finessed the high down to the 50% Fibonacci line at 2330 as a high, as that is the region about where we saw other monthly highs at that time. And this gives a target X1 in the 2977 area. Now, target X1 was achieved back in September last year. So consider that when looking at what opportunities may lie ahead. Now, one final thing on double bottoms. They sometimes produce a handle or sideways movement when they reach their allotted target or targets. Given this is a monthly chart, you should have ample time to see the build up for such a handle as we go forward. One very final thing, I mentioned last year that, and I quote, mentioned the possibility of placing either or both a bullish Andrews or shift pitchfork over the action from 2015 to 2020. This has crossed my mind, but I'm not sufficiently happy with the bullish incentive given December's action to do so at this time. Nevertheless, I wanted you to know that such thoughts had crossed my mind. End of quote. Well, since then, things have obviously taken such a move on the upside that it might well be prudent to draw a bullish Andrews pitchfork for the 2015 to 2021 action, which I have now done. The market is currently between the rising middle time currently at 26.12, and the rising upper time, currently at uh, 34.39. This is something to keep an eye on as we carry on into 2022 and beyond.